King. Thank you for standing for me. Thank you for giving your life for workers like me. Workers like me are, are the unseen faces of hospital work. The foundational work that keep hospitals open is done by people like myself. Workers who are mostly women and mainly women of color. Today, far too many hospital workers can't afford health insurance. Some workers depend on financial assistance to make ends meet. Hospitals make too much money not to pay a livable wage to their employees. And we are now saying, as Dr. King said 50 years ago for the sanitation workers on this very day when they declared a strike, we demand that Every worker get a minimum livable wage at this point of at least $15 an hour or more. As we march through this community today, where Dr. Martin Luther King was attacked for standing up for fair housing equality and the people of color and poor, we are speaking of hospitals working across the city. It's unfair for anybody to say, I work 60 hours a week, I have no benefits. I have no worker rights. I have no ability to join a union. I have no health care. It's unfair for people to clean bed pans for people's and people in hospitals that they cannot afford to go to. It's not right and we're not going to allow this to happen. I've learned a lesson. Rest in peace, Dr. King. I've got this now. Thank you. What are we fighting for? Yeah.